So I'm in Smyrna, Delaware right now. I just got here. It must be a new building here that's just been uh, built. Uh, trailer brakes locked up on JB Hunt trailer. So we're going to check it out and see what it is. I don't know how long it's been sitting there, but we'll find out. Let's see here. It's hard to see. this thing up. There we go. Yeah, it could be just brake shoes stuck to the drum, maybe. Maybe it's an air leak, who knows. I'm going to find out, though. Make sure I'm recording. Yeah, it's got me so paranoid. Get my phone out here. or you don't know? What's up? Do you hear an air leak or you don't no, know? No, no air leak. Okay. All right, do me a favor, push in your red button only. Is your yellow button out? All right, just push in the red only. All right. Okay. Now there's supposed to be four trailers here. As you see, somebody pulled the trailer all the way off the board. Uh-huh. Back and forth, back and all the way back up here. Since we were the last ones, you know, somebody took my turn. All right. Each, each turn was assigned to a different person, so... Uh, All right. So it could be the chair's been sitting here a long time and those shoes are stuck to the drum, possibly. Um, no. No, it could have been there that long. All right, well, let's, let me take a look at it and we'll find out what's going on with it. If you got no air leaks, that's the only pretty much other thing it can be. But figure it out. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're going to check to see if the shoes are stuck to the drum. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get my 7 sixteenths and my hammer out just in case. Now we don't have to get back up. But that's all it really is. Is uh, free. Oh. Get my head 
set off here. the drum. Try trying to say it wasn't. Since the brakes are thick, we will do half adjustment. Alright. Alright, All so it looks like the bomb on this one is also stuck to the drum. Top one's not stuck. Sorry if I'm breathing into the mic, it's the way I'm laying down here, so it's like right under my nose. Okay, check the other one. I'll tell you right now, this one's not stuck to the drum. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's see what this one is. Nope. Y'all can't see, can you? There we go. Nope, that's it. Just the two. I'll roll it, check operation, get my get my info. So two brake shoes stuck, two bottom shoes stuck to the drum. He tried to say it wasn't stuck to the drum. Steve's Road Service. Uh-huh. 
already here now. <laughs> yep, it's already pretty. Uh, you can might as well put it as done because I just finished it up. But I'm just gonna have. I'm gonna have them roll. I'm gonna have them roll it. Check operation. The shoes were stuck to the drum. All right. I'm I'm Rick. Hey, you too. Thanks. Bye. I'll just put everything away. And we'll have them roll. Push any yellow button, see if it rolls. Go forward. These road service. Uh, it depends on what, okay? Uh, hang on a second, I'm on a road call. What'd you say? Well, yeah, go for it so you feel that it's rolling. Feel it? Okay, I can see it rolling from here. Okay, stop. All right. What do you mean? Clutch on what? Yeah, you talking about trying to replace the clutch on the road? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I've, hey, some people have, have asked that before. Um, we don't do much clutch work, but where, where's the truck broke down at? Oh, what, is that in Elkton? Okay, your best bet would probably be Mike's Diesel in the morning. Yeah, they do clutches and stuff. They're real good. Uh, well, the best thing I can tell you is um, call a wrecker out to have them move your truck or do whatever they have to do to get you out the way. I, yeah, I don't, I don't have a wrecker driver tonight. We're short, we're short, we're short-handed. So he, he already ran all day into the almost night now. So, so uh, maybe Ted's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ted's towing. You can give them a call. They might have a wrecker available. They might be able to help you out. All right. All right. Have, you're welcome. Have a good night. See you. Okay. All right. It's rolling. Brakes were stuck to the drum. Two bomb shoes, left and right side, were stuck to the drum. All that damn bouncing and all that shit. And the coming well, in. something. Well, that's why I said the chair. I mean. How do you know your trailer hasn't been sitting here for a while? Oh, no, no, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Usually when they're that when they're that stuck, usually they've been sitting for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, what you can do, I can see the flat spots. I see what you're talking about. Um, what you can do is call J you call JB Hunt for me, right? Uh, yeah, my dispatch did. Okay, right. have him call and tell him you have two flat spots on the tire. You got two flat spots there too. Well, they're not as bad as the other one on the right, but I'm not a I'm not a tire expert either. But no, it, it definitely needs to be replaced because you have no tread left here. You see it? So yeah, there's no tread left on that. Uh, on the other side. Yeah, if I was you, I would call JB. Have your dispatcher call JB Hunt again. Tell him you got uh, four flat spots on rear axle, left and right side, inner and outer tires. We, well they weren't they weren't stuck to the drum only the rear axle was these two were actually rolling when they were whoever was dragging the drug it yeah. yeah you can see whoever was that well no i see yeah i see what you're talking about yeah. uh, do they have yard jockeys here no okay not that i know of no. okay yeah so it must have been like another driver or something yeah well maybe they can pick up on who dropped the trailer here or whatever I don't know. I was supposed to take the chair. 
Huh? Or who was assigned to the track? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, for it to be that stuck on a drum, I, uh, usually the trailer has to be sitting for at least a little while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because with all the rain and moisture and heat we've been having, that'll that'll make the uh, shoes stick to the drum if, the, if they're not moving. You know, for a week or two or whatever. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, that's not something. We just told them to come pick up a right. trailer. Somebody took ours and left this lovely little bastard for us. All right, well, the only thing, like I said, I can tell you is uh, call JB Hunt before you roll out here because you don't want to get blamed for it, for one. Yeah. And two, if for any reason the OT stops you and they see the flat spots, they're going to shut you down anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, they have, if they have rolling DOT or something. So I just got to get my info. And he could probably, he should roll the trailer in the parking lot uh, a little bit and hit the brakes a little bit to get the... You get the drums, you know. At, uh, that way, you don't they don't take a chance on stick it again. Just sitting here, have them roll it, and then hit some hit the brake and dry out that drum or whatever if it's wet. So. I'm just gonna get my pad and get some info and I'll be good to go. Alright, so whoever, I'll show you where the tire marks are, where he was showing me. Um, apparently, I guess what he's saying, somebody else had the trailer and they drug it from down all the way from one end of the warehouse up to here and backed it in. Which, when those brakes are really stuck on there, they'll. You start putting flat spots on the tire. So, once I get the info here, I'll show you the tracks. PA903. Get the vent off this thing. Gotta catch up. I got a whole bunch of videos on this camera right now. I'm going to tell you, ever since I've been doing videos, you're going to see a lot of lockouts going on here. Ever since I started recording videos, my row call is back again. Seems like I'm getting row call, a bunch of row calls uh, for lockouts. I haven't had so many before. So it's kind of comical or coincidental. 486. Okay, rear axle. So they're gonna have to call their dispatcher again. Alright. Okay, so you got four flat spots on the tire on the rear axle, left, right side, in there an hour. I guess he's gonna call your dispatcher. I wouldn't run that way. All right, I wish I would have known that before because JB Hunt called me as I was finishing up. Well, no, no, I don't do tires. Oh, okay. So I have to call a tire, but I could have updated them when they called me when I was finishing up. I didn't realize, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you're good. I mean, he just has to call dispatch. You have to call JB Hunt. But when I leave here, you might just want to pull out some, run it through the parking lot, hit the brake a little bit, just to get, you know, that drum's still kind of sticky or whatever, possibly just to get a rotation of it and push it on the brake. Oh, you felt it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a rear axle, left, right side, just the bottom shoes alone are top for free. Yeah, uh, he, yeah well, when I was back there, yeah, I said, it's probably, you know, stuck to the drum. He said, no, he, he said, no, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's taking pictures of them now. But you can go out and look at them yourself. Okay. But um, like I said, once I leave here, just take it through the park lot, hit the brake a little bit, turn around, do it again. That way it'll dry out the drum a little bit and it won't stick again. It shouldn't stick now, but all right. All right, so there's the tire tracks. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them tire tracks. We'll go to this one here. But they drug that thing out of one, oh, I see, they drug it out of one dock 
into another. So they drug that, they drug it pretty far. Uh, yeah, I think you can see that. Right, those are the tires. And there's the other one right there. So whoever did pull it out of the dock over here, pulled out of the dock over here, came around and then backed it up. But it did not, it did not, uh, anytime you push back on a trailer, it's not going to, they're not going to catch or whatever. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they did right there. Yeah. Okay, so when you backed it in, they, they were screeching. Yeah, I see him. So he came out that way and I, it looks like that's him that backing up. Yeah, okay. Did you call your dispatcher? Okay. All right, so uh, another day behind. So you're not, you guys aren't actually day behind, you're just hauling for them? Okay, yeah, I see a lot of that now. Okay, all right, well, like I said, just have them running through the parking lot, hit the brake a little bit, get, you know, get the rotation on the drum. Okay? All right, you have a good night. All right, have a good night, man. All right, so we're done here. Make sure I locked everything up. Or not lock up, secured my lift key. Then we're gonna call it until my next roll call. So this is still August 8th. Um, this is where I did the uh, lockout. And you'll see uh, lockout in Chesapeake House, Northeast Maryland. And then I had to go to Jersey uh, to program a GMC key. Uh, so or train it to the truck so I, they could have a key to start the truck. You have to program GMCs, you gotta program the key to the truck. So that takes like 30 minutes. So I just made this one about three minutes late getting here. But okay, so it's gonna do it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next one.